Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at a description of the water cycle. The water cycle is much more complicated than you think it is going to be. Heat and energy from the sun comes down, warms the surface of the water on the earth and this is going to cause the water to evaporate. As the water evaporates, it's going to become less dense, it's going to rise up, and then it's going to condense when it starts to cool down. This is when we're going to get clouds formed. When the clouds are heavy, when the water has accumulated so much, it is going to start to rain, and the fancy word for rain is precipitation. After it's rained, the water is going to do a number of things. It can go into the mountains where it will sink in or percolate. Deep into the mountains where it's then going to pick up stuff like irons, salts, um, which is going to affect the, the taste and the chemistry of the water. This will then come out somewhere as a little stream and go into the river. Some of it's going to go into the soil, moving slowly back towards um, a river or a lake as through flow. Some of the water will go straight onto the ground. If the rock or the mud is already saturated, if it is full of water or the rock is impermeable, then that will just run off into the nearest river or stream or lake or reservoir. All of it ending up at some point in a large collection of water, whether that is in the sea again or whether that's in a reservoir or whether that's in a lake. Some of that water will get taken up by plants and used in photosynthesis. It will also come out of plants in a process of transpiration. And then go up into make clouds and then the cycle can start all over again.